This is the fifth session on how to pig your homebrew. We're going to be covering step the fi last and final step nine on how to use the pig and activate it. We have the pig has been the pouch has been activated. The headspace gas has been bled out, so this is completely full of liquid. There should only be just a tiny little bubble of air, maybe a tablespoon or at the most. And we've made beer or foam come out the nozzle so we know that it's activated. The next step would be to rinse out this valve because it's going to be setting for some time and we don't want hard it, uh, to beer to dry in there. So hold it under a faucet or if you had some kind of a squirt bottle with sterilant to go ahead and rinse that out just to get any beer out. Take it out of the bottle filling support and place it in the, tr the tray. I like to turn the nozzle a little bit to the side. It makes it much easier when you're filling a glass to run it down the side a little bit if you're worried about getting too much foam. Then this is the strap. Just slides right under here. Through the buckle. And then it is very important to tighten this as best as you can. Pull that very tight because you do, the last thing you want is the pig to slip out of the tray and strap and fall and break its nose. This party pig is ready for aging. Whatever is appropriate for the style of beer. And then it's ready to put into the fridge for 24 hours for a good thorough chilling before drinking. That concludes the lesson on how to pick your beer.